beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is Zita and if you are new to this channel you are welcome so guys in today's video I'm going to be taking you along to go get a hair I don't even want to say a hair trim because I know I'll be trimming a lot so I'm going to say a haircut so the place I'm going to it's my first time I haven't visited them before so I'm really hoping and praying they do a better job so I'm just going to let the lady do a job I remember I didn't show you guys how damaged my hair is there was a time I actually experienced the breakage at the crown but right now it's it has it's actually good it's difficult to tell so I'm just going to turn around and show you guys how thin the back of my hair is it might be a bit difficult to see on the camera but it's really thin so, can they see So as you can see, the back of my hair is really thin. You can see here, like here, how thin it is. But the side of my hair is really full. So I'm going to go today and then I get that cut. Then from there, I'm going to be doing a protective style because uh, I'm going for like a mini vacation and I don't want to have my hair out just because I'm not sure like i'm going to be managing it during that time so i'll take you guys along to get my hair cut and then to also get a protective style and maybe if, if possible i'll also take you guys along to go get my nails done so stay tuned onto this video guys while i take you along with me my hair like <laughs> i have kind of like a bittersweet feeling like you know when you have been trying to grow your hair for so long then you experience the damage and you have to cut it it kind of like weigh you down like you feel devastated but as i said also in my previous video i had really like just thought about it and there's no need holding on to damaged ends so i visited a salon in my area called clip and this is the first time i actually went there if i i don't remember saying it in the last part and the lady was a little bit nervous as she told me she had never cut an afro head before and i was like mine will be pretty easy because it's relaxed and i had blow dried it so so she said uh usually she would prefer to cut on wet hair but sometimes too she do cut on dry hair because she's able to see the damage part well and she also actually encouraged me to cut it that i should cut it and i should try to cut get like a hair trim after every six months so that it will help keep my hair in a very healthy state and that is what i really plan on doing like i plan right now to relax my hair every three months we should be up every uh 10 to 12 weeks maximum 12 weeks i should relax my hair and every six months i will definitely be going to get a trim i actually really do feel satisfied with my trim guys like my hair looks he healthy from head to toe even though it's short but you know like my ends now look way more better than it used to be and i'm just going to tend to show you guys the back part of my hair like the the v part i had you remember i said i had my v was like this so now it's pretty gone so i believe she just took the v part and then cut from there and then went inside my hair took every part and just make sure it was healthy so let me turn behind and show you guys the back part of my hair so this is my new hair length guys it's I can't remember the time I had my hair this short, but I'm also excited to start a new journey and of course get my hair trimmed regularly and hopefully this time the breakage will be in. The breakage will reduce because I really don't know why my hair is breaking. I'm just hoping everything is okay and I'm going to try also to take my vitamins and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now is to heavily moisturize my hair and seal because my hair is dry and I'll be using the ORS hair moisturizer which I'm almost out of but I have a lot of them in the these smaller packages this usually comes in the relaxer package like you have I don't know who they think will be using this one because this thing is pretty small guys 
it's really really small i can't find my you know what now i can get it open it's really really small so one would definitely not be enough so i'll heavily moisturize my hair with that and i'll be sealing with the ores organ oil make sure you focused on your ends so guys as i moisturize my hair i'm going to get my hair put in a protective style and i'll be doing my i'll be doing a knotless braid and this will definitely be my first time getting the knotless braids done and it will also be a first time letting someone do my hair after a very long time like i don't even know i'm just letting my guts down and allowing people to try their best in cutting my hair and in braiding my hair so i'm going to go get uh, uh not less braids done for the first time and i'm also excited to get a not less braids done god now that my hair is at its healthy stage it's even hard for me to have it in a in, <laughs> it's hard to put it in a a twist because it keeps unraveling guys the fact that my hair is right now healthy i'm much more excited than it's been unhealthy yeah so i'm just going to try my best to keep to keep it healthy all the time actually this year my 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 main goal with my hair will not be to grow it long but it will be to get it on track as in getting my the my under process hair back in in order by processing it to be like the rest of my hair because the back of my hair pretty still looks like <laughs> natural hair because the back was really really under processed so the goal for the rest of this year is to get my hair in order get it in a healthy stage as much as possible then after that the goal will be <laughs> So guys, see you guys shortly. I'll be showing you how my knotless braids looks like. So pray for me that the person that will be doing my hair will definitely be doing a good job. And this braid will not be again another reason for me to have a setback that I pray for. And this is how our ponytail now looks like. Ah. Yes. So see you guys shortly. And this was the next day, guy. I came back from getting my protective style so late at night and I was really, really tired. And this is how my hair looks like the next day. So she did, uh, I, went, I went for the medium size and it was really, really long. And the braiding hair I used was expression in 1B. We only cut that hair into two and then pick it out. So this hair was long. It was uh, to my, my hip or above my hip. And I really, really do like the size. For some reason, my scalp was really paining me. I don't know why. I was just guessing it's because I washed, blow dry my hair, and then get the hair cut and did my braid the same day. I'm guessing that is why. But after a few days, I was good to go. And then I also ended up getting my nails done, which I really, really like them. And that is all, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.